So, my dear students, uh, I continue with some techniques, uh, some techniques uh, of teaching English poetry. So, English poetry is also literature for EFL or ESL student. Now, you have to uh, be very careful about each and every point so that you can have better understanding of it. Um, teachers of literature are always on the lookout for effective techniques. Uh, and approaches to teach the subject. Obviously, sometimes people uh, and among the students, they do not take interest in one element of literature, like some like novel, some like poetry, some like prose, while well, some like um, other components of, um, you know, literature. So, uh, and the methods, uh, because uh, this, uh, the use of right method, uh, there have been many uh, uh, methodologies and many methods like in English I mean which which have been started actually from GTM grammar translation method then uh, uh, came actually uh, DM direct method all right and then came ALM idolingual method and then many many methods came uh, in fact but all these methods have got actually certain limitation and certain strengths and limitations right so one single method is not going to work effectively. So finally, I suggest to suggest to PDR, ALM, TPR, and uh, many others uh, which came, but unfortunately, not a single method was enough to comprehensively take the you know uh, the uh, I mean the the features of all this thing there. So then um, the scholar and the linguist, uh, you see the educationist and the linguist, you know, they came up with something new approach which is termed is eclectic approach, eclecticism. What is this eclectic approach? Eclectic approach, you know, which, uh, for example, in some languages, mother tongue is used in some uh, language, the use of mother tongue uh, uh, method, uh, the use of mother tongue is banished completely from the classroom. Well, uh, this eclectic approach, you know, that's a combination of all. Its uh, principal premise is that wherever you think your your teaching can be effective, so you can take anything from other methods. So the combinations of all methods. So it allows you, I mean, to use of mother tongue, and it allows you other techniques of other uh, of other. So far, the teaching becomes effective and more good. You see for the students and um, you know then you you can use this eclectic approach it's not a method now and there is a, uh, another uh, when, when, when we used to read something there a term that was term, a term which was used that was post method uh, because from every method every teachers every student he gets a new thing of his own and that term is actually a post method and that post method it works effectively Right, because every teacher has got his, 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 his own techniques, you know. So therefore, therefore, uh, they can use them in the context only there. Especially poetry, because it will uh, the the uh, uh, I mean the um, the poetry uh, uh, which will reach uh, to obviously its learning process uh, uh, ob objective. Wu Wu um, is a writer, uh, most probably from China are from Indonesia that applying particular techniques and approach and teaching and learning literature such as student center activities all right uh, I'm going to explain the student center activities teacher uh, teaching and teaching literature can be an enjoyable all right and uh, exciting all right uh, uplifting experience because the reading process provokes student individual thoughts and interpretations all right um, basically this uh, author stated that applying particular techniques and approach in teaching and learning literature such as student student center activity student center activities mean are we can say student centric are, are teacher centric approaches like uh, uh, mostly uh, in, in, in a class of literature or in a class of language I mean everything that should be student centered like means that it involves students mostly in different activities right and uh, 
uh, such uh, teaching and learning is such a student-centric uh, teaching and learning can be enjoyable, exciting and uplifting experience because as I lastly explained uh, in the last uh, lecture that you know when you are given a text which is interesting so it, it would have live an uplifting uh, influence on you there and it, 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 it would give you that uplifting experience as well so because a reading process provokes students individual thoughts and interpretations so the literature classroom should be a place now it's it, it's a million uh, uh, dollar word the literature classroom should be a place where dissimilar ideas all right where dissimilar where dissimilar ideas confront conflict and at times converge with each other for students will gain maximum profit only when they are active when they remember when they are active and highly involved and highly involved in the learning process so obviously the ideas which are brought to the language classroom or even literature classroom they may not you may not be uh, at ease with them right you may not be at ease with them so uh, therefore you have to uh, uh, sorry, my dear student, I just uh, uh, took a pass uh, just in order to cut your uh, video short. Well, uh, I was just I was just telling you something that the stuff of literature bringing into the classroom, they may confront, conflict and at times even converge with each other. Converge means that which uh, that when, when, uh, when they become similar right after uh, differentiations and after differences you know with something becomes similar or, or it, it, it actually it just takes the forms of another and thus a conversion takes place all right so and which is of and this process you know this would certainly help the students to a great extent and they become active and highly involved in learning um my dear students um here relate to the use of uh, technique in teaching poetry hey uh, we are talking about only uh, uh, at this moment poetry have discussed and proposed a comprehension strategies matter all right so he talked about it uh, comprehensive strategy matter and teaching poetry for EFL students especially under and uh, undergraduate students and uh, Turkish she tries to explore and highlight some of the strategies used to challenge, encourage, and support the communicative learning process uh, for two large classes of Turkish learning and their third and fourth years of English language and literature department at Ataturk University. Her learning, I'm, I'm, because uh, this is just uh, only for your, uh, her learning strategies cover a range of areas, including cognitive reading strategies, rigorous learning standards, learning style and multiple intelligences, meaningful content and building cultural knowledge in order to assist um, uh, learners in realizing their full potential. All right. He hoped that these strategies might be adoptable to other contexts and inspire teachers to teach what matters most in their own classroom. All right. While guidelines for literature teaching in Singapore, um, in, in, in Singapore, right, uh, Singapore um, schools explore some techniques for of teaching poetry that involve pre-reading techniques all right uh, for example draw pupils into a text activate background knowledge relate the text to personal experience techniques for sustaining reading and exploration for example divide the work into manageable portions and provide uh, motivations for independent reading provide a framework and techniques for highlighting and follow-up. For example, explore a particular theme or character, enable people to express their own response, enable people to share with you. All these, you, you can find it, it, it here. All right. I mean, in, in, in pre, uh, 
and pre-reading techniques for example you you have to do all these things actually is i mentioned in the first part of their uh, of of this le lecture so thus you 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 give a kind of great value to your student all right so beside the use of appropriate methods and techniques selecting a, a poetry based on students need in level is also important according to reeves different poetry needs different treatments or methods to decide what good points are for the student one should apply the criteria of of, of poetry in general and read it so um, I mean, these different things are actually done with the teaching of poetry, and similar other methodology and techniques are to be used with other genres of literature, like novel, like drama, like essays. All right. So, um, in apply the criteria, so read it with understanding, vocabulary, the feelings of students. These all things you have to keep in mind. The teachers, uh, this is very very important. The teachers should decide. what kind of poetry is will be given to their students all right the poetry emphasizes on form okay it is classical or romantic content or aspect of language the teacher must continually study the nature and you know uh, uh, the nature and the interests of student their emotional development i mean these are the thing which has to be looked by the teacher for example the student interest it has to be looked at but unfortunately that's a very i mean uh, this is a very strict question we cannot sometime liberate our student for example in big university where uh, you can have the expert of all fields in all subjects you know they can offer you a variety of subject but we do an hsc syllabus we have actually the liberty within limitations but sometimes we do not have teachers uh, and but we just give things to teachers who are in, in fact um not even expert of those things but still they are for because we are short of labor we we short of so many other resources so i mean the teacher has to ensure the interest of the student according to that and their emotional development as well but unfortunately uh, i mean this the emotional development or we do not take care of this in our universities because of certain reasons because of number because of students because of issues and their maturity and immaturity outlook we have to look at it is it on what think students are mature and what other aspect where students show maturity immaturity all right and their range of vocabulary and, and intelligence all right for example if you are teaching um a class of juniors and you talk about uh subjects you know which which require a great amount of work on the part of students so it would become very very hard indeed so therefore i mean this should be carefully done and the teacher can choose and select a particular appropriate and varied poems from anthologies of them to be taught students in particular class and uh, you know uh, this these things they they have to be kept in mind and otherwise uh, it would be very very indeed hard uh, for them the readers can start to analyze poetry or poem from poetic devices okay poetic devices uh types what kind of poetry it, it is uh sound devices meter and pentameter and structural devices what kind of structural devices have been used in all uh, aspect of poetry that can be analyzed i mean for you can uh, you can start from figure of speech you can uh, like for example you can define a figure of speech like simile the similarity is a resemblance between two uh, different things then you can involve the student practically to come up with some uh, some of their own example from their own life so this would obviously uh, create uh, images actually in their mind as well so all these thing and reading poetry differs from reading a newspaper or or a memo or a, or a book because poetry is something that is, is highly musical musical thought some about it some say or um um you know some say that a uh, spontaneous overflow of thoughts you know so obviously it has to be um, i mean clearly reading poetry now this is see here reading poetry is a process of finding particular information ideas experiences 
message, values, and themes for pleasure are serious analysis. Okay, and poems also lead the readers feel intensely to experiences deeply and often to extend our understanding of experiences different from the reader experiences or to affirm own ideas and experience. So such uh, teaching of literature has to be done in a class. If, I mean, uh, all these discussions which I am giving you, I mean, if poetry is taught in this way, so you are actually bringing literature into the linguistic classroom and you are enabling indirectly directly the students and into competent readers and competent and, and competent um, listener. So in comprehending a text of poetry, the student do they should do what? They should know how to read comprehensively the poem according to the level of comprehensive process. Right. Crawley and Martin and uh, Roy et al. stated that reading is his reading as a thinking process is four dimension okay four dimension of reading such as word recognition one is that is uh, mostly this is psycholinguistics uh, aspect word recognitions um, skills word recognition skill all right uh, literal uh, it's not working I don't know why so some uh, word uh, literal comprehension skills interpretation skills and critical creative thinking skills remember that uh, reading that is actually uh, uh, reading is is as a thinking process has four dimensions of reading word recognition you have to recognize word this skill should be in you the literal comprehension skill that uh, what does it literally means and contextually means an interpretation skill uh, interpretation means the contextual are even how do you interpret there and then critical and crea cre creative thinking skill so you have to just look at, at these things and to understand and the word recognition skill of reading poem can be a process of knowing the meaning of words determining the word choice diction classifying denotative and connotative huh? okay I, I think this is not this is uh, stop working and uh, connotative and denotative meaning um, you have already read them and semantic class and the literal comprehension part uh, obviously uh, uh, students need to understand the phrases clauses figurative languages and sentences that are used in poem so such analysis actually takes place at, uh, I mean uh, in the poetry teaching there uh, while interpretation and creative thinking skill the students reader give interpretations uh, interpretations of uh, uh, I'm trying to just to click on it so that it should underline but unfortunately there is something happened which I don't understand why so um, readers give interpretations of the poem find the theme and tone relate the poems to matters beyond the poem and give comments opinion or ideas about so I mean if such things um, um, happen in the poetry classroom uh, which is also related to language so obviously this would be a very good uh, thing there so mostly uh, uh, literary analysis generally covers novel analysis poetry analysis and drama analysis and poetry analysis that is basically an activity to find particular issues major theme in poetry analyzing poetry can be an enjoyable and pro, uh, provocative mental exercise I mean provocative mean which gives you some trouble but still it would be very good in analyzing poetry the reader may be concerned with particular method and techniques of poem apart in order to understand in its constructions and its meaning all right so uh, I, I'll, I'll be inshallah going to the next uh, this how to analyze uh, poetry uh, till that uh, you have to stay tuned and uh, thank you very much so let's see you there